Mwaluri ya dawa yangato 1973 up to now. Dawa zo siya hane anidudri. Marima ambu so hao. Ka kamana si ubu kwenye amala dawa mwalu yosama bachiri. Kewe kwa rudi ya kake waluwe chante haiko. Na emati ya si ubu mati la kade ya. Kake walu dawa si hanti dia ruduru. Kama te dia dia. Olo solo sona. Ma bonti tiri ni esuki azdenti oda ke kwitipi dra ebe ki ba tiri tro dra jome ya dra pisa lo solo soma vudi pi majore ale mebe ma ba tiri di a isa karega. In Ayumani district, we have partnered with the UN Habitat in a program of processing certificates of customary ownership for landowners uh, in the district. From what we have achieved already, we have tried to be really inclusive. We have ensured that numbers of women and numbers of men benefiting from the program are fairly balanced. If you dig through your resources and you read about a Jumani district and Madisa region, you find that we've had many conflicts over land. This process is helping us deal with those problems because once all these lands are mapped and everybody knows where they are, then it is harder, more difficult for someone to come and grab land from them. In these things prior, it's uh, women, widows, orphans that have been deprived of their resources and disenfranchised and and so they have been left destitute and also it's easier for investors if they want to to do some farming or whatever we will know what portion is there to be given in any place the global land tool network provides capacity building for the land administration institutions at local level so they are able to map the land by themselves. The costs of land mapping and surveying have been significantly reduced from $600 per plot to $40, which is equivalent to two chickens. Meaning that any landholder can afford to pay for the land mapping. I think uh, we need to thank and to, to really celebrate this book move in Uganda where we have now civil society organization and government working together to provide this you know certification to community. We have funded this project for customary land title uh, deeds because we think it is very important. First of all, because it will hopefully prevent conflict in the future. Uganda has a rapidly growing population and land is a, is a divisive issue, but also because land is an economic asset and hopefully for the people who have the land titles now, uh, they will be able to use that economic asset in the future. It is a long journey to get to this point. That's why people should understand uh, why it is complex to address land related issues is not overnight. It's social engineering because you want to create transformation and that is what GLTN stands for. We have proven that this pilot is doable, it is affordable and it is scalable. 
It has been uh, very successful and we will continue uh, with the next phase. The first phase consisted of 3,000 certificates. We are now going into a second phase which will consist of 30,000 certificates. When we started, many people did not give it a chance. And, and now to see the men and women who have benefited and received their land titles um, and the smiles on their faces, it's amazing. It's amazing. Larry, Larry, Gabriel Pido, Masia, where my line is to cassay, and now money might eat to cassay, Mansor Bara.